Yes guys, good evening to all. This evening, I'm going to do a video of the Garrison Historic Area on UNESCO World Heritage Site. Again, which is in Bridgetown, Barbados. Starting from here by the Seven Day School. For the Seven Day Adventist Secondary School. Up here at Dalkey. So, I will start from here and I will walk back up the hill first. We will walk up the hill. Exactly, we are going towards the Brickens Hill and that area first. And then we walk back. So this is Darkey, but it's seven day I met in secondary school. So I'm looking to make my way up Darkey Hill now. Electricity in 1911, the Arctic Methodist Church dates back to 1841, and it received electricity in 1911, the same year that electricity came to Barbados for the Barbados Electric Power. The Arctic Methodist Church here, dating back to 1841. And this is the wall for the seven days school. So this is Darky Hill, leading you back to Britain's Hill. So up the road here will be leading you back to Britain's Hill. And this is the Keith Village known as Charleston Avenue. Right here. The Keith Village known as Charleston Avenue. And this is the church. The church here. So as I said before, I went to school, I received my secondary education at the Barbados Seventh-day Adventist Secondary School. This is the secondary school here, the Seventh-day School, where I received my secondary education. When daughter comments with the principal, the secondary school was established in 1953 and the primary school was established in 1897. The Seventh-day Adventist Secondary School at Flodden Abingdon. The address is Flodden Abingdon. I received my secondary education there from 2005 to 2010, 2011. Darkie Hill, heading towards the Britain Zoo. 
and you can see the Ephesus salmon there, uh, Baptist Church. This is the school church. This is where they had. We used to have our prayers, and our morning worship in this church here, the Ephesus Seven Day Adventist Church. So this is Darky Field up the road now, baby Britain Hill. Britain Hill will start up the road here for the post office. And the and the um first of all this is the school church here. So the Ephesus 7, the Adventist Church. Britain's Hill was start up here. And the old Budge Bice Supermarket was also up here as well. So this is Darky Hill. Here at Britain's Hill. Otherwise, you've heard of that too. It's it, Michael. So, I will walk back down the hill now. Walking back down Darky too. Yes, yeah. Oh, Darky. Coming back down Darky too. And the church here, the Methodist church. And again, this is the seven day of Venice Secondary School. The primary school is in the back. And this is the Western Gate, which Miss Evelyn, a lady named Miss Evelyn. Miss Evelyn used to sell right here, outside this gate here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, uh, Miss Evelyn used to sell outside this gate for this needle's eye. It's where the lady, Miss Evelyn, who was a Vinci, a Vincentian lady, used to sell, but she passed away now. So I'm walking down the Arctic too. Straight down the hill now, we'll be leading you back to Colorado Road. Straight down the road now, we'll be leading you back to um, Beckles Hill, Beckles Road. Um, back onto Bear Street via the Geriatric Hospital. Um, the, um, Straight down the hill, we're leading you back to Beckles Hill with the Geriatric Hospital. Now we're we'll leading you back to Bear Street by, the, by Bounce Beach. On the right turn, we're leading you back to Culloden Road. Back to Dark Heath. Uh, by the Adventist Schools again. And this is all where the grotto is, or uh, was the grotto, which is the new housing development, housing unit. The houses were built here around 2015. Once upon a time here was a deserted road, dark at night and lonely. People used to walk through there as a shortcut. Until... People used to walk through there as a shortcut to get to town and in the background. Uh, but in the background, they had a little mini mart which was run by the um, Barbados Agricultural Management Development Corporation. A supermarket like 
where my mother and I used to go to shop on Saturdays when they used to live in the area. This is the entrance to the seven days I went to secondary school. You can get to the primary school from here too, but the secondary school is mostly here. As I said before, I received my secondary education here at the seven year Adventist primary school. Secondary school. Between 2005 and 2011. As I said before, I used to live in this area. Years ago, the half of my life. The entrance to the grotto. Which is now a housing unit. I'm heading towards the garrison historic area. I'm heading towards the, the, the garrison itself, but this is all a part of the garrison historic area and UNESCO World Heritage Site. And this is Balins Avenue through here, which is a cul de sac. Balins Avenue is a cul de sac. And the 70 Adventist Primary School entrance is through there as well. But you get to the primary school. And this is the NUPW. This is the NUPW here, known as the National Union of Public Workers, the Horatio Co Complex. And this is the former RES, which stands for Refrigeration Electrical Services, which was owned by Mr. Kinch. He has passed away. This is the barn here where the old AC units used to be. RES was the um, a distributor of air conditioning units, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries Limited, Mitsubishi Electric, and general air conditioning units used to be brought in here at RES. And they also used to bring in the Taylor ice cream machines as well. So the NUPW here, the National Union of Public Workers over here, which is the Horatio Complex. And this blue apartment is where I used to live. I used to live in these apartments. So this is the NUPW, the Horatia Cup Complex, known as the National Union of Public Workers. The entrance here, the National Union of Public Workers. And all behind here is the BLM Belleville area. As I said before, I used to live in these apartments. They were white first, then they were yellow, and now they are painted blue. I used to live in these apartments here for half of my life. And this is all the Horatio Cup Complex, known as the NUPW. National Union of Public Workers. But our old apartment. And this is Paddock Road through here that will lead you back to the other half of the horse stables and I believe the back to the garrison secondary school entrance or not the entrance well and there could be an entrance to the garrison secondary school which is known as the Grand and Sealy secondary school 
you can, that's the wrong the place that you can enter the school from. I will not go through here because that is a ghetto area. Lots of ghetto people out in there, so I will not go through there. I will keep on the straight road. So this is the Bearland Bearville area. We can back up to our old apartment. On Paddock Road. And back up to Paddock Road. On our apartment. Walking down towards these horse stables at the garrison. One of the paddocks. This road is Chelsea Road. It should also lead back to the Bale and Bearver area and back to the back to Chelsea, back to Bear Street but the yacht club side. And this is this Frederica shop here, which is run by Club Grant. I used to go to that shop when I was a little kid. And I used to live in the area. The Frederica shop here. And these are all the horse stables here at the garrison. The horse stables here, the paddocks. And this is the Barbados Museum here, a historic society. So, this is the paddocks here at the garrison. Hold up. Where the horses sleep. This is the horses table. The horse tables here. And the Barbados Museum and Historic Society. Okay, I'm back up to our garrison. And the, the heart tables here. And this is the section of the garrison known as Bush Hill, which will lead you back to like, which will lead you back to the back to Bear Street, but the Barbados did not power. Bush Hill, a place where prostitutes are known to play their trade on a nightly basis. A red light district, Bush Hill. Bush Hill is down through here. This can also be a pathway to the Great and Silly School, known as the Garrison Secondary School as well. Great and Silly School, you can get it from through here. And this is the Barbados Museum and Historic Society here. And the paddock here at the Garrison. And this is the, all the, the stands here, and all the racing the race track. the race track where the horses race. The garrison is our only horse racing venue in Barbados. The garrison is the place where Barbados held its first independence ceremony on the night of the 30th of November 1966 under the leadership of our first Prime Minister, father of independence and national hero, the Right Excellent Errol Walton Barrow. 
and it is the place where Sir Gaffy Sobers was knighted by the Queen Elizabeth herself when she came to Barbados and knighted Sir Gaffy Sobers here at the garrison on the 12th of February 1975. You can see all these. This is Block A at the garrison where the Nelson statue is. The garrison was also a military area back in the 1600s, 16, 17, 18, and early 1900s. The garrison was a military area. Yeah, Roger. And this is Block B. All these were barracks, by the way. All these bar buildings here were barracks where the soldiers used to sleep back in the day. Block B, which is a, also a barrack, which is where CXCs was. CXCs move over here. CXCs is in Kalimama Rock or somewhere now, up there. Mm. So yeah, see, is in Kalimara. They built a big building in Kalimara, but the yeah, see, is in Barbados. The Caribbean Examinations Council was in here. And the block next door, block B, block C. Block C is where the town country planning office is. I go around the garrison, block C where the town country planning office is. Around the garrison will lead the back of Bear Street and the Barbers Defense Force and St. Anne's Fort and Barracks. And this will lead the back of Darrow's Road and Harris Gap and St. Matthias. All in Christ Church. And this is block B where the CXCs was. This will lead the back of Darrow's Road, Harris Gap and by the St. Matthias, all in Christ Church. So this is a walk around the historic Bridgetown and its garrison area. You can see the town country planning office. Thank you guys for watching now. And do have a blessed evening. Charlie, yeah, yeah. So I will take a walk around the garrison shortly. I'll show you guys on the rear strap. So you know.